All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS experience for Thursday, March 7th. We're going to jump right in. I'm going to try to make this video quick. I'm going to try not to rage out tonight. Um, yeah, I'm going to just try to stay focused to get through this, get, get through this, this, um, this slate. We're going to start with point guard, Luka Magic, 12-2. You got to find value and play him. My man's averaging like 70 fantasy points a night. Um, he's unguardable. He's matchup proof. You know, only two players on his team really take the shot. If the the players that the players that don't generate their own shots, they're they're receiving passes from Luca. What what does that mean? That means that he's scoring or or, or assisting on most of the plays for his team, and that's why he's twelve point two k. Find value and play him. Um, Steph Curry, 9K, he's in play. He's an okay play. He doesn't project well. And that's why his ownership is always too low. But he's Steph fucking Curry. You know what I'm saying? You got to play him. I'm be honest with you. The projections lately have been off. And I've been using that to my advantage. You know, like I could look at a projection and tell like, it's too low. Usually it's too low. And people people lay off of them because they just look at the projections and they go from there. But um, you're going to get to a point, or you should get to a point, or hopefully you get to a point when you're doing this, when you're able to look at a projection and you can tell when it's too low or too high. Usually it's the median. That's what it's not. You know, it's not going to give you the exact, you know what I'm saying? But when a, when a projection is too low, that's when you want to jump on it because nobody's going to want to play them. Kyrie's projections are always low. Halliburton. Halliburton is not someone you really need for fantasy right now. At 8.8K going up against Minnesota on a seven-game slate. He's in the player pool, but he's not something that we have to. He's not somebody that we have to have. Kyrie's in play. De'Aaron Fox. Listen, I had De'Aaron Fox in everything tonight or last night. And he can't, he started off. He started off like a hot fucking pile of shit. But I knew he was going to play well against the Lakers. Malik Monk went off too. I got like... I'm not even going to say nothing. I'm just going to say everybody that I, I said was going to play well, played well. Um, Fox went off. Malik Monk was going off early. I'm not... I got to check to see what Keegan Murray did. But, um... I know he, he played all right, but the Lakers don't match up well with Sacramento, especially especially when they're running running back and forth. Anyway, quickly, eight point four K. I don't I don't I don't know if I want to play eight point four for quickly. That's kind of diabolical, don't you think? He's gonna take a lot of shots. He's gonna play a lot of minutes, but he's fucking manual quickly. Um. Quickly is a hundred dollars away from De'Aaron Fox with a time to be alive. If you're playing a lot of lineups, you want to take a shot, take a shot. But I, I, if I'm playing one lineup, I'm not going to put quickly in. Um, I had a Fox going up against San Antonio with no Wemby. That's crazy. Fox is in a spectacular spot. Kobe White's absolutely in play. Jamal Murray's in play. Cunningham, Vassal, they're in play. Beal. Bill's on a different type of time right now. He's about him and getting his shots up, getting his numbers up. Um, I guess that works out in our favor. Play him. Shit. 18 shots with Kobe, Kobe, Kobe with Kevin Durant next to you. <laughs> uh, you, go, you go ahead. Now, the only thing is we got to hope he stays in the game because you know how he is. One little paper cut and he's in the back getting, you know, putting on his street clothes. We're gonna call him Street Close Street Close Bill. You feel me? Rosier is an okay play. The Sun knows absolutely in play. While Chicago is while Chicago is shorthanded, you gotta play these guys. I had the, the Sumno in some of my lineups also. I had the Rosen in the lineup. I, I, I so I I didn't look at I didn't look at my DraftKings lineup yet because I've been sweating FanDuel. So I gotta we got a takedown in we got a takedown in the night slate for FanDuel. 
You just cast in the, in the main slate with Jalen Johnson in the lineup. That's why I was so late with the video because I was sweating. I had Le- LeBron was my last guy in, and he got hurt, but that didn't matter. He got hurt late. And DraftKings, we were cashing, but I haven't even looked over it yet. So we're gonna, I'm gonna, I don't, I'll deal with that after this video. But the Sumno, the Rosen, Kobe White, all these guys are gonna play while they're shorthanded. Cause they play 39 minutes a game, minimum. Dirt White's in play. Nobody really plays Boston, but two out of four. Usually pop off if you get the if you pick the right ones, you're sitting good. Um, listen, and don't think I didn't see the injuries tonight. Don't don't think I didn't see some fuck shit going on tonight either. I'm just choosing not to go crazy because I don't know if I'm I got like a sinus headache or something. Like I'm not a hundred percent, so I don't have the energy to go into the NBA. And don't think just because I cash, I'm not going to rant. Half the time I rant, I cash. I just, what's right is right and what's bullshit is bullshit. I just don't have the, I just don't have the physical ability to rant tonight. You know, just so the MB, even when Jalen Johnson got ruled out, I was getting ready to chuck my phone. I already tossed that shit in the street. Like, the fuck you mean Jalen Johnson not coming back? Because I ain't going to lie to you. All day, I'm like, yo, I'm going to shove Jared Allen up my ass today. Pause. But he's going to get hurt. I thought it was Jared Allen that was going to get hurt because I had him in all, almost all my lineups. And I just kept thinking it like, yo, Jared Allen's going to go to the back and not come back. And it was fucking Jalen Johnson. Because J- Jalen Johnson was low on. And he was doing well. Yo, it never fails. It never fails. It never fails. See, y'all, y'all about to get me started up. Focus. Okay. Who's here? <laughs> Derek White, Schroeder, Drew Holiday, all in play. Gary Trent, you could take a shot. He's going to get all the shots he can handle, especially there should be no Agbaji since, you know, he got hurt too. But we're not going to talk about that right now. Pazemski's in play. Chris Paul is in play. Jaden Ivey, you can take a shot. Any Brooklyn game, I have no idea what's going to happen. Cause Brooklyn is such dog shit. You don't know if they're going to show up and try to play or if they're just going to pack it in. Um, I probably want no parts of that game. That's how, that's how, that's how toxic the fucking Nets have become. I don't even want to play a game. I don't want to play a game. I don't want to play anything with Brooklyn. I don't even touch Detroit. Um, Trey Jones, 5-3, you could take a shot against Sacramento. Good matchup if they could keep it close. Mike Conley, no thank you. The rest of these guys down here, no thank you. No thank you. Let's go to shooting guard. Anthony Edwards. I think this, I'm about to say something. I was about. I was really about to say something, but I, 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 I wanna, I wanna, I want, I want him to be the face of the league so bad. But right now he's going through a crazy, a crazy. He's having a crazy ten day span, so I might have to give him a pass. We're supposed to say, wait, ain't cat, ain't Carl Anthony Towns out? Cat is out, right? All right, this is it. Anthony Edwards up against Indiana with no Carl Anthony Towns. He's supposed to drop fifty on he's supposed to drop fifty for us. You feel me? Fifty real life points. Seventy fantasy points. That's what he's supposed to do. The way the media portrays him, you know, they call him eighty four Jordan. So if he's eighty four Jordan, I want to see seventy fantasy points, my guy. There's gonna be no call to call Anthony Ta- Towns to fucking hold you back. Fire up Anthony Edwards. Vass was in play. Mikael Bridges, glorified role player, 7,100. He's going to be very popular. I could look at this shit and see how popular he's going to be. Um, He's very, it's very enticing to play him at 7,100. But we know that he don't have testicles. What does that mean? 
That means that he doesn't rise to the occasion. Last five games, 10, 36, 54, 31, and 29. At 7K, 7.6K, 31 fantasy points is a failure. 7,500, 29 fantasy points is a failure. For example, for example. You heard me say I cashed the lineup. We ca- we cashed on Fanduel with Jalen Johnson, and Jalen Johnson got hurt in like the second quarter, right? Do you know why we were most likely able to cash? I haven't really looked into it, but I'm going to tell you why. Because a guy named Tobias Harris played the whole game and did absolutely nothing. So it didn't even matter that Jalen Johnson got hurt because you got guys that go out there and do nothing for their whole shift. Like you come to work to do nothing. Mikhail Bridges is Tobias Harris Jr. You see what I'm saying? Like sometimes they come to work to do nothing. 29 minutes, 10 fantasy points. My man, you can't grab rebounds. You can't toss some assists. See, I'm getting mad now. You can't grab a block. You can't grab a steal. 38 minutes. No blocks. No steal. I thought he was a defensive guru in Phoenix. That's what I was told. Man, get this bitch off the, the fuck off my screen. Now I'm getting now I'm now I'm mad. Now I'm mad. Now I'm mad. Malik Monk fires ass up 6.3k. I don't even know why he comes off the bench. Fire up Malik Monk. <clears throat> Schroeder, you know what? Schroeder comes to work. If you want to take a shot on Schroeder, you can play Schroeder. Grayson Allen is always in play when they're shorthanded. Clay Thompson off the bench with Andrew Wiggins back. Oh, we're gonna get to Andrew Wiggins in a second. I can't. I don't think I can do it. Is today's game on here? I don't even want to. I don't even know what he did tonight or last night, and I don't give one fuck. I'm, I don't know if I'm playing Clay Thompson. Well, I, I know I'm not playing Clay Thompson. I don't know if I'm, he's gonna be in my player pool. Definitely not playing him. I play like two lineups, so he's not making the cut. Grady Dick, if you want to be cute. Um, these guys down here you shouldn't really be touching unless they're cover unless somebody's injured. NAW, you want to take a shot if he's in starting lineup? I can see that at four point three k. I'm just checking my lineups to make sure they ain't doing no type of stat corrections because they be cheating. They be taking rebounds away and all this other stupid shit. Y'all got to be careful with that. I seen them take points away from Jordan Clarkson in the middle of halftime. Like, bitch, they're not even playing. What the fuck is going on here? Yo, this shit is so rigged. Yo. Focus. All right. Tatum, 9-5. Absolutely in play. If you're expecting a close game between Boston and Denver, go fire up Tatum. Jimmy Butler, the same playoff. Jimmy's back. 8.3K. Take a shot. If you're expecting a close game between Miami and Dallas, play him. And you know what? Tyler Hero's out, so Butler does get that bump. DeRozan, I ain't going to lie. DeRozan's been pretty consistent. 36, 59. I've been playing him every slate because he's too cheap. His price is finally coming up. Look, his price didn't move all week. It's finally coming up. He's still in play. They're shorthanded. He's playing 40 minutes. And DeRozan doesn't need to score. He could grab rebounds. He could do, you know, and he takes a lot of two-point shots, a lot of high high accuracy shots, high percentage high accuracy. What the fuck is it, a bow and arrow? What the fuck am I talking about? High percentage shots, so that's why I fuck with DeRozan. Siakam, yo. I think that the accolade when he went to the All-Star team, All-Star game, or when he was an All-Star, I think he needed to get that shit back, tell him that they made a mistake. This guy's a bum. Fucking Pascal Siakam. No wonder fucking Toronto fucking traded him for a fucking box of Ritz crackers. This fucking guy is fucking 50 against his old team. Okay, that was like two weeks ago. 49 against the Pelicans, right? Boom, then you hit, then you get hit with an 18. Maybe that was a blowout. I don't know. I don't care. 34. You're, you're 8K, bro. You're 8K. I, 8K? I need 50 fantasy points. Well, he was consistent at one point. What the fuck happened to him? I don't know what's going on with him or Halliburton. They don't seem to be um, 
11 shots, 10 shots, like you're, you're, you're damn near 8k and you're taking 11 shots. Like I, I can't, I can't, what's the word? I can't, um, rely on him. You see what I'm saying? Like he can have a good game. Obviously we can see that. I can't rely on him. I don't know which Pascal Siakam is going to come to work. Seven five. Seven five. He's in the player pool. If he's my last man in, fine, but I'm not gonna be doing fucking cartwheels to play Pascal Siakam. Um Jalen Brown will pay attention to his status. Porter, six eight in play. Duncan Robinson. Duncan Robinson's been playing like he's been pro- he's been practicing with Allen Iverson or something. He's been he's been playing well and he's been consistent. See, like I could pay five eight for someone like Duncan Robinson, but I can't pay seven five for someone like Pascal Siakam, and, you know, and feel good about it because I don't know what Siakam's gonna do. That's the, especially on Indiana now. All right, let's go back. Let's let's finish this 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 shit off. Who are we? Duncan Robinson, where you so near you could take a shot, but I prefer Grayson Allen. I saw Thompson got his minutes back, five point four K. You could take a shot, but I might stay away from this Brooklyn game. And I, if there's news to come out, I usually fade the first. I I, I fade the first games. I don't think that's something that's going to happen tonight with Minnesota and Indiana because I'm going to need me some Anthony Edwards, but it depends. I don't have to, I'm, he's not like a lock or anything. He got a lot of other shit going on. You guys are always getting injured, coming to work late, leaving work early. So I'm not confident in Anthony Edwards that he's going to stay on the court the whole, his whole shift and produce. I'm not confident in that. Um, Caruso is absolutely in play. They got Agbaji back over here. They're playing this. I thought he was hurt. His, no, if you hurt, you stay hurt, bitch. Don't come back because what you gonna do? See, you see how they lie. Well, I don't. I'm not gonna say they're lying because I don't. I didn't see the injury. Well, I don't think anyone saw the injury, but you can't. You can't leave the game. Be hurt. And then be available for the very next game. No. Go fucking put some icy hot on your knee. Go rest that shit. And come back 100%. Because what this is what's going to happen. They're going to put you questionable. People are going to bet on you. And put you in their fantasy lineups. You're going to fucking come out for the first quarter. You're going to play three minutes. You're going to go to the back. Nobody's going to realize. Then we're all going to get alerts. From underdog. Fucking Oscar Ogbaji. Will not return. Like this is this is the fucking movie. This is the, this is the scenario we go through every day. So, fuck Akbaji. He's not in the player pool. I'll play him next month. Let him get, let him rest his knee. The fuck out of here, yo. With the bullshit. Like you you wasn't able to finish the game, but you're gonna be able to play the next game, and it's a knee. The fuck out of here, bro. Cut the cut the shit. So hard to play. Fucking 13 minute Wiggins is, is here. You play third. Why do you start the guy if he's going to play 13 minutes? Why do you have to put him back in the starting line? What's the infatuation with shoving Wiggins in the starting lineup when the team was playing well? And I'm not even a Warriors fan. Now, if I would have played him, I'd have been tight, right? 13 minutes. This league is a fucking farce. Everything about this league is a fucking sham. Um. Keldon Johnson's absolutely in play. Minutes should go up with no Wemby. He should actually start. Who knows what Pop is going to do. Lonnie Walker's in play. I think Cam Thomas is out, right? I didn't mention him, so he must be out. So Lonnie Walker gets a bump. We'll keep an eye on NAW. Kyle Anderson is going to be very popular. 
with no Carl Anthony Towns in a great matchup against Indiana. And if he starts, you should be you should be playing him. See, I play single entry mostly. Like, I'm gonna hear people say that they want to try to pivot off of Kyle Anderson. Why the fuck would you pivot off of a forty three hundred dollar forward that could give you thirty fantasy points? Because people don't people people watch these shows and they don't understand what's happening. When these guys, when you're watching like fucking stochastic and roto grinders and run pure sports they're talking about mass multi-entry they're talking about 150 fucking lineups so when you're talking about fading this and fading that they're talking about out of 150 lineups if you're playing fucking one lineup or two lineups you're playing fucking kyle anderson you know what i'm saying stop worrying about chalk stop worrying about pivoting Cause you're pivoting yourself out of cash. You know what I'm saying? Like, all you got to do is get different one spot. You don't got to just follow the leader. Cause you're not doing what they're doing. You're not playing 150 lineups. Some of you are, but some, and I'm not talking about you guys in general, not my people, not the people listening. I'm saying in the community, the, the, the whole community, people always talk about, you know, chalky, chalky this and chalky that. You don't even know where that shit applies. That's like 150 lineups, you know. What would be chalky if you if you had you're playing 150 lineups and you had Kyle Anderson in 100 of them? That's chalky. You want to lower that down. That's so don't. If you're playing one or two lineups, play the correct place. Play the optimal guys. Don't watch these shows and get confused. Cause I promise you, there's gonna be people that've been watching those shows for years and ain't cash shit. And I was one of them. You know what I'm saying? So I know what's happening. Can't tell me nothing. I know what's happening. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Kyle Anderson, amazing play. Play Kyle Anderson, get different elsewhere. Promise you he'll probably be in the, the winning lineup. Um, Jaden, you could take a shot on him, but I don't really like him. Is he? I don't. I'd rather play Kyle Anderson. Harrison Barnes, I'm not really interested in, to be honest with you. The rest of these guys, I'm not gonna touch. Like, you see, my player pool is tight. You see, I don't just lose. I don't. I don't have like not have patience and just refer one of these lower tier guys. I wait for value. Like, my method works. Like, we've we've. We've cast like 10 out of the last 13 nights. And that's with all the injuries and everything going on. And some of these nights, we've cast multiple entries. Tonight, I think I cast three entries with a hurt player on my lineup. So my method, the way I, the way I look at this works. My player pool is tight. You know, I don't play people that are not going to play a lot of minutes. I don't try to be cute. I don't fade people just to fade them because they're going to be popular. What the, what the fuck does that got to do with me? I'm playing Kyle Anderson and I'll get different somewhere else. Like my method works. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and a lot of you guys tell me like, yo, I do what you tell me to do. And I've been cashing. That's, I, I'm, that's amazing news. When I wake up and read, read all the, you know, the messages, you I want money. Yo, that that's amazing. That means that I'm doing my part. But sometimes I watch these shows and I be hearing the shit that I be hearing and I be like, what the f that? And I be like, no wonder I be we, I be winning so easy because people got the wrong mentality when it comes to this shit. Because a, a guy like Cal Anderson and you're playing single entry and you fade him, who the fuck are you going to play? Who's going to be 4K that's going to give you 30, 32 fantasy points right now? Nobody. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. You know, if niggas want to donate, they can donate. So listen. So listen, before we go to power forward, let's get some housekeeping. If you're new here, welcome. Appreciate you taking the time to watch my video on this early Thursday morning or afternoon, depending on when you listen, listening to this. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Absolutely important. Hit the bell, thumbs up the video. That way, you know, when I drop my videos and you know, when I drop my um, shorts clips every afternoon. Now, 
if you are struggling to cash, I can help you. If you don't have time to do your own research or wait for starting lineups or wait for all the injury news, I can help you. I can send you my finalized optimal lineups right before lock. Um, just check out the link in the description. And like I said, I don't usually be like pushing it, but we cash like nine or 10 nights out of the last 13 or 12, some shit like that. Like it's crazy right now. Um, but like I said, I keep the player pool tight. You know, I wait for that. I wait for value. And then I just get, I just get different w with one player. That's not popular. And like my method, unless my player get hurt, I'm cashing like easy, easy. Anyway, YouTube super chats are open. YouTube channel memberships are open and the gold membership. You do get lineups with the gold membership. All right, let's go to power four. Let's wrap this shit up and let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Um, KD97. I think he went off last game finally. 57 fantasy points. Yay, Kevin Durant showed up. Okay, you want to go back to him? Is Kevin Durant reliable? Yes. Is Toronto a great matchup? Yes. Fire him up. RJ Barrett is 8.3K. What am I supposed to do with this information? Like when I see RJ Barrett in 8.3K, that shit doesn't register to me. It really doesn't. Is he capable of putting the team on his back? Giving us 50 fantasy points? I don't know about all that. He's probably going to be low owned. <clears throat> because you see what I just said out loud? I just said it didn't register to me. I'm doubting if he could drop 50. That's what most people are going to think. That's going to keep his ownership down. RJ Barrett, his ownership is going to be low. Just because everybody's going to think the same way I think. You see, I think the way everybody's going to think, and then I flip it. That's what. That's how I do it. That's why I, I talk it out loud with you guys. DeRozan. De, I've been playing DeRozan all week, but um, RJ Barrett is a good play just because everybody's going to think he's not worth 8.3K. That's why he's a good play. But only if the rest of your lineup is fire. Siakam. 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 I don't know what to do with him. Porzingis is in play. Kelly Olenek. She's going to start. He's 6.8K. I don't like his minutes, though, to be honest with you. I know he has 41 fantasy points, but I don't give a fuck about that. I don't like, I don't like his minutes. I need 34 minutes, buddy. And only nine shots, and his price is coming up. Price came up 500. I don't know. I, I, I'm not feeling Toronto this, this slate. But, you know, we'll cross that bridge. Kaminga's absolutely in play. Um, Kamingo, Kaminga last night projected. He, would, he didn't project well for the night slate, for the late slate. And I'm looking at the projection like that's too low. Now this is going back to what I've been saying. Like you got to be able to identify when a guy, when a player's um, projected too low. He was actually who I was talking about in my mind, and I played him because I just knew he was gonna do what he needs to do. I think yeah, he's part of my um, he's in my he's in my winning lineup for my takedown. So like I said, you got to get to the point where you you look at a projection and you can identify like. It's too low or too high. Once you're able to do that, you'll start seeing more wins. Because people take projections as gospel. Projections are not gospel. I used to think they were too. So I'm not I'm just I'm I'm giving y'all the tools y'all need to figure out how to win money. Because it's hard, right? Like you see the week we just had with people getting hurt and people cheating and people having phantom injuries. It's hard out here. Like you gotta use every resource possible to win to win it whenever you can. I'm, I ain't going to lie. If I didn't cash tonight or last night, I wasn't going to make no fucking video. I wasn't going to go through four days of this shit. Like, yeah, I cashed, you know, two days, two nights ago. But that is not the point. It's just the, the phantom injuries is just mind blowing.
Because it's like, why do you want to play? Why do you want to donate if you don't know what's going to happen tonight? Like, you just want a fair shot. That's what. I, that's the point. You want a fair shot. Like, you're even going to be spending your harder money betting on these fools. You want a fair fucking shot. That's what. That's all it is. Like, if you're going to be outright cheating, I'm not going to fucking do this shit. It is now just getting in your face ridiculous. Um, who? Who else is here? Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon's always in play. The thing with Aaron Gordon is that um, Boston has a good um, defense, and Denver loved to run the Jokic, Gordon, um, pick and roll, pick and pop. You know what I'm saying? Two man game. So I'm sure they could pull it off against Boston, but it's not going to be like how they do with them other teams. So just be careful with Aaron Gordon. Keegan Murray's in play. PJ Washington's in play. Especially if you pair him with Luka. Nas Reed 5 4. He's absolutely in play. He's been, he was on a little bit of a terror. Like a terror in a good way. Like 33, 35, 36. Wait, I thought he did better than that. What the fuck is going on here, Nas Reed? 36, 35, 33. I guess it was three games in a the row then. <laughs> My bad. I thought he did. I thought it was longer than that. But he should be good for tonight's slate with no um call Carl Anthony. Nas Reed, Al Horford. Finney Smith been very popular lately. He's five K. His price came up a lot. 34, 26, 25 last three games, but they're short-handed too. But Boston just I mean Brooklyn, not Boston. Brooklyn is just I don't know. I, I can, there's a million other plays than, than Brooklyn. We don't need Brooklyn. If you want to play Brooklyn, you could play Brooklyn. If you want to play Dorian Finney Smith, you could shove him up your ass. But I'm not playing Dorian Finney fucking Smith. I'll tell you that right now. On track, yo, you could take a shot. Jovic, 4K, starting power forward. You could take a shot. Jordan Nora, you think he's going to get minutes? He played 20 minutes last game. My man took 15 shots in 20 minutes. This fucking guy thinks he's Allen Iverson. Okay. Bowl Bowl, you want to take a shot on Bowl Bowl? Um, they were giving him minutes. Not as minutes are like casual, 7, 11. You know, I want to play Bowl Bowl. Like, you'll, it's a seven game slate. You'll have more than enough value. You feel me? Um, Jalen Smith. I'm scared to death to play that guy. Trey Lyles, if you needed value and there was no other value, but there'll be value. Don't worry. All right, Jokic 11 4 2 cheap. So bonus 10 6 in play. Bam out of bio 8.4k. Always flies under the radar. Good play. Vooch 8.3. Absolutely good play. Go Bear 7 5 2 cheap. No cat against Indiana. He's going to be popular, but would you rather pay 7 5 for a guy that's going to give you 45 fantasy points? Or would you rather pay 8.3, 8.4? For a guy that's going to do the same thing. Because this is a difference. With this $800, $900 savings. You can apply that to, 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 to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? You can apply. You can use that extra money to, to, to spend up. That's why you got to eat chalk sometimes. Especially in single entry. You know. Shit like that. But. Hey. I'm just giving y'all some advice. Nurk. 7-2. Absolutely in play. Claxton's in play. Miles Turner's been good. Durant, Durant, is, Durant has been good even though the team has been losing. Drummond, no thank you on this slate. And Zach Collins, if he starts for Wemby, then we play tonight. I think that does it. I think we already have enough value. Um so far but you know we could always use more value especially on the luca night i'm not a real you know i'm not a real luca lineup maker 
usually if I do, I make two lineups. I make my regular lineup then the Luca lineup because the Luca lineup is usually, you know, you know. But listen, let me let me go on and get out of here. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up the video, check out the Patreon linked in the description if you need help with lineups, if you need help, you know, winning, you're tired of losing, you want to win, just come on over. It's, in that, it's inevitable. Um, super, super chats are open, channel memberships are open. I think that's about it. I'm a, uh, like I said, I think I'm coming. I think I'm getting like a sinus headache or something. I feel crazy. Listen, I'm going to go on and get out of here and probably get some, try to try to take me a nap or something. But listen, I appreciate all you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a profitable Wednesday night. Hope you didn't have Jalen Johnson in your lineup and it screwed you. <laughs> but I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao.